What's up, MTV? I'm Ashley Schwann, and I am on my way to my friend's birthday party right now. Obviously, I'm in the back seat of my ride, and uh, yeah, get ready with me. Let's get ready. So the first thing I do when I get an Uber is put lash glue on my lashes because I put so much glue that it takes a lot of time to dry up. So I'm giving myself basically 20 minutes to do my whole face. One product that I cannot live without are my eyelashes. I feel like a naked mole rat without them. I also always carry baby scissors in my makeup case to like cut my lashes. I'm always like the one girl with scissors and it really comes in handy all the time. Here's my duo lash glue, highly recommend it. The black one and the black one only. The white one is disgusting. It looks like it, you have like manly body fluids on your eye. Oh my god, my lashes are flying everywhere. <laughs> I've glued a lot of my lashes to like the side, like bench of Ubers. Works great, honestly. Or the center console in the front seat. Highly recommend. I would say I get ready in a car <laughs> at least probably like once every two weeks. So this isn't like new to me at all. If you have like an emergency booty call, you always have to keep like a few things with you, like your eyebrow pencil in your purse, some mascara, cause like, you know, bare minimums. The next thing is going to be face primer. I use the one by Laura Mercier because I also use their tinted foundation. I'm also just gonna be using my hands for a lot of this because we're in a car and we're in a hurry. And it doesn't have to be like perfect. I feel like 21st birthdays, people are gonna be like blurry tonight anyways, you know? So it doesn't really matter what I look like. And it's also not my birthday, so. Okay, you're supposed to like wait for the primer to set, but I'm kind of just gonna go into it. Maybe like find a palette to fan myself with. I'm like, I love using this like really expensive <laughs> palette that is broken to sh to just fan off my primer. It works really well. Now onto foundation. I am in the shade 2W2 Nude. This stuff is amazing. Like, I cannot say enough good things about it. It evens out your skin tone without being too much. It's just like putting better skin on your skin. <gasps> I just felt all over my lips and I don't know why. Okay, so now that this is like kind of smeared on my face, I'm gonna take my wet beauty blender. I have six of them because you never know. I mean like six wet beauty blenders that are all dirty is like equal to one clean one, you know? So while I do my concealer, um, which is by Tarte Shape Tape, I don't have to say this because everyone in the world uses it, so you know which one it is. I'm gonna look like a little crazy while I do this, but the weirdest place I've ever done my makeup was in an airport, which I know isn't that crazy. It was in an airport bathroom. I was flying to Vegas to see my family, and it was like one of the first times I was flying like completely alone. Like I was waiting for my plane to board, and I didn't really understand like exactly how airports worked. And I'm like sitting in the bathroom, like wondering why they haven't like said that my plane was boarding. Sitting in there, sitting in there, it's been like probably like an hour. And I'm just like going in on my makeup, like making it look better and better. And then finally, I'm like looking for my plane. So I go up to one of the workers at the desk next to my plane and I'm like, hey, like, um, like where's, like when are we boarding? And this bitch goes, <laughs> she's like, what do you mean? Like your plane like took off already, like a while ago. And I start freaking out. Cause I'm like, well, what do I do now? How am I gonna buy like another like plane ticket? And they were like, oh, it's okay. Like, don't worry. We're gonna get you like another flight. Like we'll get you on the next flight. The next flight was five hours later. I'm forever triggered by it. And I will like never intentionally miss a flight, which I also almost did like a week ago. <laughs> That's besides the point. The one thing that I would recommend for like a hangover cover-up product, it would have to be concealer. Cause like <laughs> concealer is supposed to hide your mistakes. Not saying that getting drunk the night before was like a mistake, but your hangover might've been a mistake. This is why I have two beauty blenders. Like the other one got too full of my concealer. So I had to get a new one. The only brow product that anyone should ever use is the brow pencil. Br hello? 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 Precisely my brow pencil by Benefit. 
I think the only brow products people should use is Benefit brow products, because they're the only ones that work good. Even though my eyebrows look like ass today, okay? I've been through a lot. Today's been a busy day, so my eyebrows are allowed to look like shit. Just don't look at them. Okay, now we're gonna take this and another beauty blender, <laughs> obviously, and just pack it all over your face. I'm not even kidding, like, I just pat <laughs> the shit in. I swear it looks good in the end. It's been questionable this entire time, but it's fine. It's really good, actually. Now we're just gonna take a big fluffy brush and brush off all of the excess, accent, excess, ex, ex, the rest of the powder on my face. Okay, see, we're getting somewhere. Now, onto the most important part. Bronzing, contouring face. This shade and light palette, Jesus. If you wanna look better, buy this. This and some good like contouring brushes. This one and this one. I use this very used shade to basically create like a shadow, like wherever I want like more definition. Like you know how like models like do that like pose like, kind of like that, do that. So it like pulls your skin and you can kind of see where you need to put it. It's like everything. I'm doing this really, really bad, but we're getting closer to my destination. So I'm going fast. Uh, we're going in with a little bit of the light, mostly the dark, which is just gone for this reason. We go in with this dark shade and we just give ourselves some chin lipo or neck lipo, you know? You can't say it doesn't look good. Even when the, like there's too much product, it's better than like having no product. Don't think that I forgot about my big honker of a nose. We're gonna get rid of it right now. To contour my nose, I use the lightest shade. I kind of go like pretty close in, cause like the closer to like the middle, the more pinched your nose is gonna look. I already got the, the boob job. Now we just need to get the nose job, but we're achieving that right now. It's like, like this is like cheaper than like $20,000, you know? Just get a $50 palette and you're good. And then I take the light and the dark and I make a little, like I emphasize my divot thing that I have right here and I kind of do like a circle around the end of my nose. Um, now we're just gonna take your very used beauty blender and blend it in. So now we're gonna take the dark shade again from the same palette and put this under our lips because my lip filler loves to fucking dissolve. But it creates this like shadow of like a pouty, pouty lip, which I just live for, obviously. Now we're gonna bronze the face. So I take the middle shade and kind of just like fan everywhere I just went with the dark shades and blend it all in. Just in case I bronze too much and I can't tell because I'm in a car, I'm gonna take a fluffy brush, whatever brush has like a little bit of like translucent left over is like key just to kind of like buff everything in. So I'm just gonna take this very used um, Kylie eyeshadow. Just take the orange color and put a little bit in my crease area just so like we look interesting and not like so dead inside, you know? See the eyeshadow, even just doing like a little bit is gonna make it look like you didn't do it in a car. Now we're gonna do highlight. So I'm going to take this palette that I was using as a fan earlier and I'm just gonna take it in. I'm like, guess what shades I'm gonna take it in? This one and this one. Um, yeah. The tanner I get, that's when I start to use like this when I like self tan, but now that I'm pale, I'm just gonna take these ones. And then I just do like a little exclamation point, like down the bridge and then a little bit on like the tip of my nose and down the bridge. And then I buff it out with my finger. Cute. Oh my God, I almost forgot about blush and I almost forget about blush every single day. It really helps blend in your contour for whatever reason. Whenever I like leave out blush, I feel like I'm missing something. So usually I put eyeliner under my eyelashes, but it is impossible to do that in the back of a car. Ugh, I don't know about these lashes. Be sure to stabilize your hand, either on your knee or like right on your face. 
No, I did it. Oh my god, I just did it. Oh, I always try to do my lashes at like a stoplight. Now we have to do lips. So I always use the Max Boldly Bare Lip Pencil. Um, my best friend Tana showed me this. And then I've been really liking a uh, Tarte Cake Pop shade. Ooh. Oh no, I fucked it up. <laughs> it's a process, it's the climb, okay? Then I just put a little bit of this on and then pat it in with my finger. Okay, you guys, I think that is it for my makeup. I am ready to go to the party, finally. Thank you guys for riding with me. I've had a lot of fun. This has been On My Way with Ashley Schwann. Cute.